my channel. I am Amy if you are new and today's video I'm doing another get the look This is definitely some of my favorite videos to film because I'm always like can I do it as you read in the title? I am doing a Dua Lipa pink eye situation. So this is my third Dua Lipa look actually. So if you're a fan of hers, as am I, go ahead and check out those videos. I'll have those linked in the description box down below. I'm using this, look what a professional I am. I have like bronzers, a blush, and like one single eyeshadow. This is by ColourPop. And this is what I'm going to be using today. It's called Sandbar, and it is literally the perfect pink. I'm using another pink, which you guys are going to see in a little bit. But I would just wanted to kind of like make a note that if you just use this probably with Fix Plus, you're still going to be able to do that. It's really, really pigmented, and with just a little bit of Fix Plus, I know you guys can do it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this makeup look. So I have my inspo picture here that I'll be referring to for this look. I love all of Dua Lipa's makeup looks. Her makeup artist, Francesca Brazzo, I believe, kills it. So since the eye is bold and I don't want to risk any fallout on my foundation or anything, I'm going to be starting with the eyes. I'm taking this NYX Vivid Cream in pink, of course, and I'm applying that with this cream detail brush by Laura Mercier. It's the same one I used for the ColourPop Jelly in my last video. I like it so much because you can really define and apply clean lines, so I would really recommend this one or looking for something similar, like a flat brush type of stitch. So with that brush, I'm starting to create the outline of the wing and how I want the shape to be. I think Dua's looks slightly different than mine, but I think you really gotta go with like your face and eye shape. So just go from the corner of your eye and bring that line out. And then just start painting on the lid until you reach out to touch the winged outline, like so that you can join them. Then you'll just start to fill it all in. If it looks a little messy or not as sharp as you want, don't worry because you can always take a Q-tip and micellar water to clean it up. And you actually do want a super sharp line, like no smudging at all. I'm also applying a thin line along my lower lash line, just to complete that eye. Once I applied all the cream shadow, I move on to that ColourPop shadow that I showed you, Sandbar. This shade is so perfect, honestly. So, like I said, if you want to try some Fix Plus, I think you'll be good. It's really, really pigmented. So, I just packed that on right over top. Once I finished filling all that in and I did my best to match the other eye, now I'm just grabbing that Bioderma, like I mentioned, to clean it all up really, 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 really well. So, we don't want any, you know. We want a sharp line, guys. And that is literally it for the eyeshadow. I'll come back for brows and mascara and all that, but for now, let's move on to the face. I'm using this primer by Estee Lauder, which they sent to me with their Double Wear Foundation, which I'm also going to use. Dua's makeup looks really, really natural, like everywhere else. Like her skin literally looks like skin. I feel like since the eye is so bold, it's a nice balance. So you can use BB cream or a tinted moisturizer if that's more your speed, but I'm going for this full coverage one because I literally just discovered that they sent me these full-size bottles in the shade that I probably am. So I really wanted to try it. So yes, I wanted to try the 3N1 today. I'm applying it with a beauty blender so that the foundation goes on lighter and not so full coverage since it's a pretty matte full coverage foundation. For concealer, I'm taking the Milk Flex Concealer and I'm also blending it out with the Beauty Blender and I'm trying to be careful not to hit the pink. For bronzer, I'm using the Bronzing Bricks by Make. This is in the shade Marfa, which I love. Applying that all over. And then I'm moving on to the blush. So for blush, I'm mixing these two by Flush Beauty, which is Hug and Pulse. These are very pigmented, a little goes a long way, so I feel like I got a little bit carried away. Like I said, Dua's look is very natural, so I'm just dabbing some of that away with the Beauty Blender. For highlight, I totally forgot about one of my favorite powder highlights until right now. This one is by Laura Mercier. It's the OG one. I believe it's just called like literally highlighter one. I love it. I really, really love it. It gives that angel kiss glow from within. It's not a blinding highlighter like most powder highlighters are. It doesn't emphasize any texture. It just leaves you super glowy and nice. This is great if you are oily. I think it definitely looks more chic when there's like a bit of balance instead of everything being too, too much. I also I also applied a lip stain that I absolutely love by Flesh. It's my number one favorite product by Flesh, which I kind of have a lot. I have a total brand crush on the entire line, but I really, really love these Swipe Flesh lip colors. This one is like a rosy tint and it's called Puffy. Moving on to brow, that bomb eyebrow gel by Essence. 
this is me trying to fix the stopper from the milk flex concealer I did it it's the one thing I hate about this concealer because then it's pretty messy but the product is so good that I just deal with it I really love this concealer guys especially for like more coverage so with that concealer I just wanted to sharpen up the contour so I'm applying it right under my cheekbone to clean that up makes my face look a little bit more chiseled and snatched it's actually a trick I learned from one of my favorite makeup artists Nam Vo which I'll have that video linked below or you can hit the little eye for mascara, I'm using the Milk Kush Mascara, still a favorite, and I specifically used this one today because I wanted a standout lash. That way my eyelashes don't get lost in the bold pink of the look. I wanted them to really, really show up and pop, so this one does the job since it's volumizing and lengthening and very, very black. So I'm finishing it off with the e.l.f. lip gloss. This one is pretty good, and I think it's like $1, guys. So that is the look. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. look let me know what you guys think I always love to hear your feedback in the comments down below so I'll be sure to meet you down there show you guys some love have a little conversation give it a like if you think I nailed it and give it a thumbs down if you think I did and it's fine I can handle hate <gasps> you know what I didn't do actually I wanted to use this it's set and refresh perfecting makeup mist let's try this out this is by Estee Lauder. So in the most recent video that I just uploaded, that like golden hour makeup look, I was like, I'm gonna, I feel like I got darker. And I literally pulled out like the same foundation, like level of colors. I needed to go to three, but I stayed in the twos. So that is why I used the three today. And then I opened another little drawer that they gave us in the PR package. And there's this little mist with that primer that I use and full sizes of what they thought I would be. And they were all in the threes. So they got it right. I did not. Gosh, I'm not a professional, you guys. That is one thing that I always forget to do because most of the time I don't wear this makeup out. Uh, but I actually am, I think. I think I'm gonna wear this out today, you guys. I have like an event. Might be fun, I don't know. Send through any of your suggestions. Um, I have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, they're always linked in the description box down below. And send me any inspo. Actually, I got a lot of people because I was saying that I wanted to play around with pink. So if you guys want to see another pink look, because I got quite a few different ones and a really popular one was Lucy Hale. So it's like this pink glitter thing. So let me know if you guys would like to see that or if you're like, hell no, dude, we're over the pink. You did the pink look. Let's move on. <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below. I will meet you guys down there. Thank you so, so much for watching, spending your time with me. Love you guys so much. I'm going to go listen to some music, dance. I love you. Bye.